Welcome back to Good Morning Interbike. We're still here on the third day of the show. I'm very excited to have with us right now from Fallbrook Technologies. You might know the brand name New Vinci. We're talking to the president of the company, Al Norton. Hi. Welcome to Good Morning Interbike. Thanks, great to be here. Now, you are in the bicycle industry now, but you've yep. been in other industries before, and I think that that actually translates well to what we're going to talk about in a few minutes. Tell everybody what sort of your roots are in business. I, I grew up in the automotive industry. Um, spent time with the automotive parts suppliers, engine suppliers, and worked for Ford Motor Company for a while, and then had the opportunity to help start a company, Fallbrook Technologies, to introduce a new CVT technology to the world, but really start with the bicycle industry. Absolutely, now I know CVT, first of all, because I know you guys and I know your <laughs> product, but so I've got a CVT technology in my in my car. Sure. Uh, my kids drive a Subaru, yep. and they've got a CVT in there, but a lot of people still may not really understand it, so I'm glad you brought the cutaway because it's yep. how I got to understand the product. Explain to everybody how a CVT works. Sure, a CVT stands for Continuously Variable Transmission, and that really means you have no discrete gear steps from the low point to the high point in your transmission ratio. Right. And there are various types, belts, chains. We're a traction drive CVT called NuVinci, and the way our system works is power will come from the chain or an electric motor or some source and spin a ring, that is the input ring. Mm -hmm. It spins up against a series of balls that have an axle and they're spinning. They connect with an output ring, which in the bicycle transmission is fused to the hub shell. So you're taking power from the chain right. to the ground, you know, from the hub to the spokes and tire. Mm -hmm. And you change the angle of the ball at, you know, left to right, if you will, so the input contact and the output contact vary. That's how you change your speed ratio. Right. And inside is a fluid, like a lubricant, mm -hmm. um, that changes to a solid that helps transfer the torque, so it's no metal to metal, very durable, and it's kind of a simple device when you actually ride it. Yeah, <laughs> and inc incredibly smooth, easy, yes. and intuitive. And one of the ways that you guys make it intuitive is what, I don't know if you call it this, but I call it the inchworm. A lot of people do. So explain that, because I think this just makes it, it, it uh, one of the things that I think confuses people on bikes, mom, I hope you're not watching. <laughs> when mom gets on a bike, right. what do I do with all these gears? And it's confusing, when do I shift? I don't understand, you've really got it dialed. Right, we, we've got a simple twist grip shifter, and as you look at the dial, there's a little orange line with a rider figure of a bicyclist. And as you change the gear ratio, you go from a tall gear to a small gear, yeah. but without going through any gear steps or moments of interruption. Mm -hmm. So you're infinitely changing your speed ratio, which means you put it to what feels right, and you don't have to know gearing, and you can shift under load right. at any time. Right, and you know, for those of us who, who have been cycling for a while, you know, we're used to when we make that shift, there's that momentary stop that happens. And that can be jarring to some people, or if you, even if you're in an urban environment, right. it's just a lot more comfortable to be riding something like this, isn't it? Yes, it is, and I, I think people shift more actively with our product because there's less penalty, you don't have to make a choice between gears which have varying distances between the gaps. So and we hope to make it very easy to ride a bike. One of the things that, that sometimes confuses people, and I want to clear it up, mm -hmm. there was this infomercial that was out for, as a matter of fact, I saw one the other night. Yeah. Uh, and it's about another kind of a shifting system, and I think yeah. it sometimes confuses people with what you do. Right. Well, we have this product, the NuVinci N360, which is a manually shifting device. Yeah. Um, so the, what you're talking about is an auto shifting system with gears. Yeah. And it would shift up and down, and sometimes it would shift when you wanted it, uh -huh. sometimes maybe not so. Exactly. Uh, with us, you're, you're never engaging in a step, so there's no shock or surprise. We also have introduced a new product for e-bikes called Harmony, which is an auto shifting system that works with our transmission. Right. You don't feel the gear steps. There's, there's not that harsh. Correct. Yeah, exactly, and right. I have a feeling since, because I know your technology, it's going to shift when you want it, not yeah. when you don't want yeah, it. Yeah, and you too. always are in the right gear for you. Yeah, absolutely. Now you've got in front of us here uh, a really nice looking Breezer City Bike. Yep. First thing I noticed when it came on the set here was the belt drive. Sure, yep. And And I happen to say that, I, I, I don't even know if I said it out loud, but that just seems like the right marriage of technology. Right, they're, they're very maintenance free, user friendly, um, both happen to kind of have links to the automotive industry with yeah. Gates Carbon Drive with mm -hmm. their belt and the NuVinci N360. It's a nice, smooth, silent combination. You don't worry about maintenance, you don't really worry about having that noisy chain or 
you know, we work well with chains or belts. Um, it's a great combination what Breezer's done with the Beltway Infinity. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a really nice looking bike. What, what brands do you find uh, in the bike industry? For instance, if you walk on the floor today, mm -hmm. what brands are you going to be able to find the NuVinci have on? Well, we've got a few here today. Breezer, Jameis, uh, Dehan, for a couple of examples. We've got a, um, a 907 fat bike at our booth with uh, studded winter tires. Nice. Um, so Bike Friday, you'll, you know, the list is growing. Overall, worldwide, we have 90 brands. We started in Europe, mm -hmm. where they take transportation cycling pretty serious, and now we're moving to North America. So we expect model year 2014, we're talking with just about every bike manufacturer. And that really is your niche, right? Transportation, urban cycling. It is, although we, we sell aftermarket kits through all the distributors and the dealers can buy that and laced wheels and mm -hmm. you'd be surprised the types of bikes people are putting DaVinci on. It's everything from a hardtail mountain bike to you know, what I would call a fixie bike that becomes an infinite fixie bike. There you go. Um, we have great examples, but people like being creative and building their bikes and we want to help them do that. A few years ago, if, you came to, if a dealer came to the show, you came by your booth, you probably got a different reaction than you right. get today. Tell me about that. Well, at first they might be confused that it's even a transmission. Yeah. They might say, is it an electric motor? What is it? Um, they might not have known the brand New Vinci. Um, we, we think that's changed. At least it is changing. Um, so the dealers are more engaged. We also spent the last couple of years in North America visiting dealers in those top 15, 20 transportation cities and educating. And we do a lot of dealer communication as well. Sure. And, and for me, one of the things that there were two things that were my aha moments when it comes to your product. Mm -hmm. One, seeing the cutaway, right. and then two, getting on a bike that's right. outfitted with it. I think as soon as those two things happen, it clicks and you get it. So I know that you go around to dealers and you give them those demos. Yeah, we put demos in their store so they can get their consumers, their shop employees on the bike, and it takes all the question away. Just yeah. get on it, ride it, and people usually smile, so. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's very true. Um, I also, you were mentioning earlier that you've got a quick start program. Right. Tell people about that. So dealers at the show can come and buy two kits, um, almost for the price of one. And the reason we're doing that is we want them to take one of those kits, lace it in a wheel, put it on a bike on their floor, get their employees, their customers familiar with it, riding it is believing it, so we've done that. And then the other one they have to sell, and it, it gets them you know, quick start uh, into the Da Vinci program. Right, so they so somebody can, can essentially retrofit an existing bike yes. with one of these wheels from the Quick Start program. Yep. Dealers are off and running and now all of a sudden they're, they're in your, your program. And now you've got little ambassadors going around on their bikes as well. That's the plan, yeah. We also, talk, going back to automotive, <coughs> you guys have recently announced some, some, some new partnerships in automotive. Right. And I think that that speaks to uh, the proven nature of your design. Tell us about that. Well, I go back to the beginning. Don Miller, our inventor, was a creative, or is a creative person and was trying to find a new drivetrain for bicycles. When we uh, started the company, we have a lot of folks from automotive backgrounds, tested it with uh, major labs, yeah. and uh, I guess the learning was it could go in a lot of different applications replacing any planetary drive. But last week we announced two major um, partnerships. One is with Allison Transmission. They were the leading truck and bus transmission manufacturer. And they've taken not only a license to build New Vinci transmissions for trucks and buses, um, but also invested in our company. Nice. So we're very excited about that. And the second partnership is with Dana Corporation, an automotive tier one supplier. And Dana's going to make automotive passenger car and light truck transmissions. And they're also setting up a center for CVT excellence in our facility in Austin, Texas. So we're excited because it started with bike. Yep. Um, I think we're, in the most recent years, the only company that has a bicycle product that's moving into automotive. Mm -hmm. Lots of automotive people coming into bicycle. Like you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's in the future? What's coming down the road? <laughs> Sorry for the pun. Yep. What's, what's coming in the future yep. from Fallbrook, Fallbrook and New Vinci? Well, we, we just launched Harmony, the auto shifting system, and we set it up for e-bikes. It's an auto shifting system. You pick your cadence. Yeah. You'll always be pedaling at that speed and the transmission shifts automatically. We're going to be launching that for pedal bikes. So we'll have a little battery pack and it's a nice experience because it's more like a car. You don't shift it, you just pedal. Right. You're the engine and it shifts for you as you climb a hill, it gets easier. So Harmony will be coming to the United States on pedal bikes and we think that's going to be a big hit. It's interesting, you know, we take 
for granted that there was a time when we only had manual transmission cars. Right. And now everybody has automatic transmission cars and a lot of people can't even drive a manual. <laughs> Maybe someday we'll be at the exact same point with bikes. Well, that's one of our plans, but yeah, we hope so. Absolutely. If people want more information about Fallbrook, NuVinci, anything we've talked about today, where can they go? They can go to nuvinci.com, our website. It's in multiple languages for around the world, and all the technical data for dealers and the product is available, and as well as the other applications, automotive, truck and bus, it's all on our website. Excellent. Al, thanks for joining us, and good morning, Interbike. It's great to talk to you. My pleasure, Dave. Great to meet Thank you. Thank you. We'll be back in just a couple of minutes with Good Morning Interbike. We're going to have Martha Van Inwegen from Action Wipe. Stick around.